Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you my demo app which is an e-commercial app plus with a chart feature so at first let's have a walk around on some main scene of the product on the top middle we can go to the search scene we go back we can go to the cut scene on the top right corner on the right scene we go back we can go to the product scene by pressing on any product card like this we go back we also can go to the location scene on the bottom left we go back the chatting or is also accessed by pressing on the bottom right corner all right so right now we will try to log out and create a new account to understand the whole process of the app let's do that we hit the bottom left button so this scene is hooked with the formic and yup especially on the phone section I use the Vietnamese phone number format so basically I will use the real like a phone number but it's not my real one so please try not to contact it to avoid annoying anyone all right let's try to create a new account real email phone number just fake it um, some kind of address Um, we can choose the province or the city name I say Hanoi and hit um, the register button we go back alright so we are all set with a new account right now we are able to log in with a new account uh, let's see Try to hit a real account. All right, we are back on the home scene again. All right, first we are close the app banner. So the home scene is basically um, the domain scene of the app. So it has the a layout showing the menu button on the top left. The top middle is the third top bar, I think, and the top right corner is a card icon. Below that is uh, some kind of carousel. Um, following it is a best selling product, which is a horizon to flat list. Below that um, is a product list which is sorted by the category when you hit um, the bottom of the flat list it will show more it will call in a new API to get more quantity to be shown over here let's try you can also search by category also like this so on the product card you can hit the buy button it will increase the quantity by the product list length because i don't want to 
show the whole kind of quantity on each item because it's too much and you know some kind of this product user will buy a lot of kilograms for one purchase so so like um, I don't want to sell too much on the card icon all right let hit the product scene and we can get the brief information of, of the product over here we have a ticket to show some kind of extra information you can hit the buy now button it will lead you to the card scene over here you can increase the quantity or decrease it so um, if the quantity is offset you can go to right card scene over here there are two kind of payment methods the first one is by cash so like um, it won't deduce on the cash balance of the user otherwise it will like deduce the total cost of the product um, list and uh, update to the database in this case I would use by card below that you can add the new address of delivery like this let's say right you can switch among um, the address or you can delete some address that you don't want to use that again all right and if everything is confirmed you can hold the button on the bottom to confirm the order like this all right we are all set we go back to the home scene so over here on the menu button you were like a cash balance will be deduced and if the cash balance is below I mean is less than the total cost of the product list on the cart you have like uh, more money like this all right so um, you can go to location you can choose the location that you want it will show the store name and its address as well you can search on the search bar below like um, um, all right uh, let's go back so on top bar we can go to the third scene so the third scene has the layout or like a hit sorry um, the suggestion keywords or the, the result you can use the suggestion keywords to search for the product that you are looking for let's try or you can likely um, enter your input of the product all right um, you can extend the history you can delete one you can delete all so each time you will calling um, the API to 
update the search history we go back and we can go to the chat scene right now um, right now I will you know try to uh, express some kind of message to the shop let's see say some kind of price and I will use my MacBook to respond to that Let's see yeah. and hit enter all right so um, its message will be um, updated to the the chat like a, a list on the database when the user log in again it's still over here so we look well and nearly is uh, everything on the 